Today, I'm going to talk about and demonstrate how to use the TCA cross method to improve enlarged pores, ice pick, and boxcar scars. First off, let me explain a few of the different types of acne scars. Rolling scars are exactly as they sound. There's a wavy texture of the skin where scars have built up. The general underlying shape is a U. Now ice pick scars are in the shape of a deep V. The skin looks almost as if someone stabbed it with a sharp pick, hence the name ice pick scars. Now box car scars have a square shape. Now a box car is an area where more than one scar has joined together to create a larger hole. Now this is very common with ice pick scars. They just merge together. Now, many people will exhibit all three types of the scars on their faces at one time. And box car and ice pick scars can be treated with the cross method. Now, what causes these scars? These are all scars caused by acne. What happens is that our collagen is destroyed, generally by the more problematic cystic acne, but sometimes from large pustules as well. Now blackheads and whiteheads won't cause scarring of this nature, so you're safe if that's your kind of acne. Now, the collagen gets destroyed because of the inflammation in the skin, and also sometimes from an infection at the same time. Now, after the collagen is destroyed and the pimple is healing, the top layer of skin ends up adhering to those deeper skin tissues. And then this becomes a depression in the skin's texture or an atrophic scar. So the most important thing here is what can we do about these scars? If you have many of them, it can be very problematic and even embarrassing. So I am happy to be here to teach you about the number one preferred treatment for improving ice pick scars. And that is the TCA cross method. Now cross stands for chemical reconstruction of skin scars. Very simple. And the quick rundown of how this is performed is we will apply a strong percentage of TCA acid directly inside the scar to stimulate skin remodeling. As the skin remodels itself, the scar will fill in the depth and the width with new collagen tissues. Now, depending on the depth of your scars, you can expect a 10% to a 40% improvement each treatment you apply. Now, younger people are gonna regenerate collagen more quickly and will probably require less treatments. I would say three to five treatments are average before you can see truly noticeable improvement. Then you just continue forward until you're happy with the results. Now, here's the fun part. Let me demonstrate to you how the process is performed. It's very simple. Now, prep. The only prep you have to do is, if you have darker skin, you're going to want to prepare your skin with a melanin inhibitor, such as alpha arbutin in our Fade Bright Serum. Apply this two times per day for two weeks. This will help you to avoid any post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation after your treatments. Those are the dark marks that are left behind. Now I've gathered my supplies. I have my peel manual, open to pages 16 and 17 for the cross method application. I have a medicine cup, that I'm going to add our TCA 30 and our wooden pick into. Now, you have the option of using a sharp wooden pick right here, which I'm going to use, or we have one that has the cotton attached. If you have larger scars, you can leave the cotton on and you'll get more acid application that way. I also have a washcloth and my aftercare products. Now I'm ready to demonstrate. Now I have two areas I have cleansed on my face and I'm going to perform this. You might not be able to see it, but I'm going to attempt to get a closer focus if I can. Now this, you want this to soak a little bit and now make sure it's not dripping by wiping it, tapping it on the cup. Now I'm going to look at my mirror and with firm pressure, here's my scar, I'm going to, you can see me poking it in there. 
A redip is necessary. I have another scar on this side of my face right here. Right here. And I have another one right here. Now, don't rush. If you have a lot of these all over your face, take your time. It's, it is tedious. So what we're looking for after a few minutes is a white ring on the edge of the scar. Now, if you don't see white, you can go over the area one more time with the solution. Now, this time you don't need to press it into the scar so much. Just make sure that you see a frost. Now, I'm gonna pause for a second and see what happens. Okay, I can see the frosting going on here and here and here. Now, you can wait about five minutes and rinse the area off. I'm just gonna pat it dry here or pat it with my washcloth to get the acid off and that's good. And now I'm gonna apply a combination of our emo oil and our healing blend to soothe, but you can use Neosporin or any other healing ointment that you wish. Now, aftercare treatments are critical to getting the fastest results. I'm gonna recommend two products that you can use if you wish. It's not mandatory. Now, copper peptides are skin remodeling products on their own right. So after about days three to five post your cross, you can start applying Supercot 2X inside the scar. And how I find the best way to do that, just a little dab, kind of pat it on there and wipe it off and you'll see it fills in blue. Now the copper, now the copper will help to stimulate even more tissue regeneration. Do this one time per day, and then you can apply your emo oil on top if you have it for added penetration and soothing, as the copper can be itchy and even tingle a little bit after application. Now, growth factors are definitely recommended when you're trying to get new tissue growth. You can start applying this every day starting at about day three because it's not irritating at all. You can follow that with your copper and then your emo oil or none of the above. Now here's some key points. You can only perform this treatment one time every five weeks. Never try to do it again any earlier than that. Your tissues are still regenerating and this downtime is just as important as when you're using the acid. Now keep track in your phone or in your peel manual. The last two pages are blank so you know when you can do your next cross treatment. And usually, the areas are going to look worse before they look better. Don't panic. The goal of performing this is to damage the scar tissues. It may be a little bit red. It may be a little bit inflamed for a couple of days. This will go away quickly, and the tissue regeneration will be working away even while you're sitting there panicking, so just relax. You need to trust in the process. This TCA cross method has been used for almost 30 years now to treat scarring with excellent results. Now, don't panic if you see a scab inside of your scar. We want there to be a scab. A scab means it's working. Don't ever pick or pull or use a scrub brush in an attempt to get it out. The scab needs to stay attached for as long as possible, usually seven to 10 days. As long as that scar is there, you'll have intense tissue regeneration happening in your skin. Embrace the scab. And don't worry about it either. It's skin colored and no one can see it but you peering into your magnifying mirror. That about wraps it up. It's actually quite simple. I do want to warn you though, do not attempt this at home with a higher percentage of TCA acid. It is very dangerous. Please go to a dermatologist if you wish to do that route. They will help you in a safe medical setting. Now, as always, let us know if you have more questions about the TCA cross method or anything regarding chemical peels. We're here to help. Have a great day.